up guys I had a lot of requests for this one so I went ahead and did it this is the Soundstream TXP 1.12000D so this is Soundstream's um, full bridge amps now I've had quite a few of these they're really good for the money um, this particular one says it puts out 1300 at 4 ohms, 2300 at 2 ohms, and 4300 at 1 ohms. So we'll see what it does. But man, for the price, these things, they do very well. They're reliable. Like I said, I've had a few of them in my, my personal vehicles. They look really good. I mean, they're probably one of the coolest looking amps out there. You can see the guts through the plexiglass. The blue spider lights up. They're pretty efficient. So, let's see what it does. All your basic same stuff. This does have power protect and clip indicator, which is nice. It has an internal cooling fan. It's mounted, I don't know if you can see it, right in there on the board. And it's pretty quiet, so it's not too loud like the tear amps. And you got big one op power inputs and nothing fancy plastic base knob nothing fancy but they work well I haven't had any, any problems with the base knobs on any of mine so let's get it hooked up and see what it actually puts out alright guys here we go forum test All right, so I'm going to put the results up on the screen right there for both certified and uncertified. Um, not bad for 4 ohms. What did the box say? Let's see. 1300. <clears throat> so we got 1173 uncertified. That's good. And we drew 124.9 amps and voltage at 14.35. All right, four ohm dynamic burst. All right, so about the same, not really any difference. So, all right, let's get ready for the two ohm test. All right, two ohm test. What does it say on the box? 2300. All right. 2155 uncertified and I'm gonna put the certified rating on the screen too as well here that's up to distortion at 1% and we drew 229.9 amps at 14.3 volts all right two ohm dynamic see if it does any more dynamic Not really, about the same. Some amps do more, some do about the same. So, but so far it's looking pretty decent. Uh, didn't quite hit the 2300, but again, really close. So let's go ahead and move on to the 1 ohm test. All right, 1 ohm, certified and uncertified. Let's see if it can do that 4300. Okay, so it didn't do the 4300. It did just over 31, which still isn't bad for the money, but let's go ahead and do a dynamic burst test to see if we can get a little more out of it. One ohm dynamic burst.
All right, there we go, 3700 dynamic at 1 ohm. All right, guys, so there you have it. Um, it didn't do the 4300. It's basically a you know a good 3K. It did over 3K, certified and uncertified. So for around 220 bucks, it's still a really good deal for 3,000 true watts. Um, again, this is a full bridge. I've had a lot of these personally and installed a lot of these in friends' cars, and they're pretty reliable. I mean, I haven't had any problems with them. Dynoing is pretty hard. It didn't blow up on the dyno. So they're really good amps. So if you're looking for one of these, don't hesitate. Um, you know, hopefully this video helps. At least you know what you're getting. But again, over 3,000 watts, certified and uncertified, for around 220 bucks is a great deal. You know, and they look really cool. They're probably one of the coolest looking, you know, amps out there, I think. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of people asking me for this one, so there it is. And if you could, guys, like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And thanks so much. Until next time.